Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Shield Version Blind Nuzlocke, presented by Draco Breach. Last time, we took on Chairman Rose because we need a villain, I guess. And this time, we are heading up to the roof to see if, um... All right, Gabriel, I'm ready for anything, are you? Of course. I wouldn't expect any less from my rival. Now, come on, we've got to help Lee. I also changed my card because I, I have a dumb idea and dumb ideas work. So that's my current Lee card because dumb ideas. Anyway. Um, so, healed up. Interesting. Looks like a massive dragon of some sort. Not looking forward to fighting it if I have to fight it. He came to help me in spite of the danger. Thanks, Hop. And you too, get and, and and you, Gabriel. You two really have grown tremendously. But no need for you kids to worry. It seems like some power of Eternatus hat was keeping my team from Dynamaxing, but we've had a champion time all the same. Charizard and the rest of my team and my, the rest of my champion team members have really worn Eternatus down. Now, if I can simply catch it in a Pokeball, we should be able to get this madness under control. Then everything will be back to normal. So watch this. It's going to be a real champion catch. Was that a regular Pokeball, or...? Yep. It's gonna break out. Oh! Forget breaking out, it destroyed the ball. I have Wheelie up front. I don't know what type this is. I have guesses. It's by itself. Um, let's start with a Rock Blast and see where that takes us. I do not like this. Okay, I can take another one of those. I don't think I'll get another five. It's it won't faint from a four. I can take a dragon pulse, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Okay, dragon pulse I don't know what type that first move was. Dragon Pulse is, of course, Dragon. It's a very strong Dragon move. I think it's, I think it's 80 base power. Flamethrower, I'm going to take nothing on. Okay. I cannot take two Dynamax cannons. is I don't know who I could send in to take hits. I don't know what... Alright. Because... Alright. I can take... Okay. What, what... You are red and blue. I have one Dusk Ball. Let's try a Dusk Ball. Wait, what? What did that say? 
Okay. Rock Blast it is. I can take one more hit before healing. Okay, good. So this is this is something that you have you have to knock out. Regardless of whether you catch it or not. Okay, what's going on? If there's a phase two. I don't like the idea of a phase two fight. It's Master Hand. Uh, or it's Cousin. Okay, this is like a... Oh boy. Um... Wow, it's huge. Let's take it on together, Gabriel. This is... Oh, I got a heal. That's nice. Um... And we can't Dynamax. Its moves are all going to be boosted. Um, let's try Rock Blast again. Storing power. What? I can't use any moves. Wait, what? I forgot we found the Sword and Shield in the Slumber Weld. Wait, um, so are we going to, are we going to, what, what, what does that mean? Gabriel, use the shield, it might be old and rusted, but there's got to be some use to it. Okay, looks like we are going to be forced to use the legendaries. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, this is a four on... Okay. This is a four on one, just like it was... Um... Okay, so you're fighting steel. Held item less... Fairy Steel. Wow, that's an interesting type. Um, two of Fairy's major weaknesses are pretty much gone. Um, okay, let's try Rock Blast. 
Howl? Really? Oh wait, that raises attack, right? Wait. What? You can target Howl? Wait, is it the entire party? That's interesting. Wait, what was that? It... Okay, that's defense against, um... Okay... That's with half damage. From, um... Excuse me? Hey, looks like we can use our moves now. Thanks to Zashian and Zamazetta, that is. Oh, the amount of damage we're doing is... Garbage. Um, that's not good. I don't think I have anybody who would be... Excuse me? Hopefully that's fair. Uh, no, I think that was steel. This is probably also steel. Okay, they're actually able to do a decent amount, a decent chunk of damage. Max Flare, so that's targeted, oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're gonna be weak to it. And, if I had to guess, I can't use, um, well there goes double, or not. If I had to guess, then I can't use healing items on Zamasu and Zamazetta, or Zacian, Zacian and Zamazetta. Let, let me, let me confirm that. Yeah, I cannot use it on them. This is going to be a weird fight, because I don't know what Eternatus um, type is. Um, beyond... Yeah, actually I have no idea what his type is, because it's... No. Okay, those are Steel Tigers. Because more than likely it is Dragon type, but I don't know beyond that what it is. The sword type is probably about to go down. Uh, except that it used that. Okay, okay. What went down? Attack. I am running. I only have two more uses of Rock Blast yet. Yet. Left. Although I think it's going to go down from... No. It, it has one more turn at least left. Because of the attack drops that we've had. This is a weird battle, but eh. It, it's, it's a battle. Okay, who are you targeting? Okay, double down. Also, unlike a max raid battle, we can freely swap Pokemon, so... I wonder who, um, you're about to send out. Hop. Oh, I am... I'm doing, like, one damage each turn. Snorlax is probably gonna do more damage. Um, my last Rock Blast. Yeah, that Howl's not gonna help. We've lost four stage, at least four stages of attack. So that means that we're at least two stages down. Actually, no, that's nullifies chain. Okay. I need to heal. But more than likely, this is actually over. Next turn. If 
if I get a full five attacks, I might take Eternatus down right now. But I have to, yeah, I'm, I'm not getting that. High horsepower is gonna, okay. Super effective. What type are you? Maybe Dragon Steel? This is it, her, this is it, Gates. <laughs> It probably will catch in any ball. Okay, it was red and blue. Dive ball might look pretty good on it. You know what? Go in the lecture ball. I mean, if this is a guaranteed catch, I'm gonna look up look it up um, before I catch. It's a guaranteed catch. There's no way that they're gonna do this kind of this kind of scenic shot and it not be a guaranteed catch. Um, my Eternatus on Sword version is going to be in a ball that looks much better in it, better on it. I don't know what ball that is yet. Um, it probably will be one of the Apricon balls. I just don't know which one. Luxury ball doesn't look too bad on it though. That black, red, and yellow does not look bad on it. So we don't get one of them right now. Now I do not have to nickname the legendary. Like I said, not eligible anyway. Three days later. So, Chairman Rose tur turned himself in then. Never thought I'd live to see the day. He awoke Eter Eternatus and nearly caused a catastrophe for the entire region. You reap what you sow, I say. I don't know about you, but I slept like the dead. That's a weird expression, but whatever. Everyone's still talking about what happened, but at least things are, are back to normal now. We really did defeat Eternatus together with Zamazetta and Zacian. And still, Lee's... well, he's being Lee, insisting on having a championship match with you today. It's a bit much, isn't it? You sure, uh, you sure you're up for it? Uh, I'm not even too sure about... wait, I'm not even too sure about him. He was out cold and hurt pretty badly, uh, badly himself during all that mess. I do understand how he feels, though. Feels like I've been waiting forever to get to get to see you and him face off in a serious match. So come on, the match will be at Winden Stadium. Where, uh, uh, where else? Poison Dragon. Okay. Interesting. Decrease defense, increase speed. I don't like that, but whatever. Special attack. Cross Poison? That's a physical. Dragon Pulse, that makes sense. Flamethrower, that makes sense. Dynamic. Oh, it's a dragon type move. That's actually. Oh, wow. Um, actually impressive. The only thing is, um, Cross Poison would need to be replaced. Because that attack stat is nothing compared to that special attack stat. But, yeah. There is... There is that. Um, and fortunately, 
I did not lose anybody. I was a little worried for a, for a little bit there, but, um, yeah. Yeah, okay. At last, the final match, Challenger Gabriel. I could fly over there, but, okay, yeah, I can just go this way. That, that's, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Am I actually ready for this, though? But, okay, so what about the box legendary? We caught the the third legendary, but we didn't catch the box legendary. That's weird. This is the final match against the champion, the championship match. Are you ready to face Leon? Yeah. Then change into your uniform and head out onto the pitch. I will be upset if he uses Legendary, <laughs> because he didn't. Oh boy. I don't think he will. Please tell me I am not getting frame drops, because I thought I heard the my, my audio glitching for a second there. My matches are always sold out, but this? I've never seen a crowd this wild. Everyone knows what you did for, for, for us this week, Gabriel. They know you're the one who caught Eternatus and saved the future of the Galar region. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazetta. I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. Now that I've seen just what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of challengers, crushing you into the dirt will show everyone just how strong their champion truly is. Come on, Gabriel, let's make this a final match that will go down in Galar's history. No, a match that will change Galar forever. We're going to have an absolutely champion time. I'm looking forward to this match and dreading it at the same time. I have a feeling that his Pokemon are going to be much closer to level 60. Age Slash. Okay, I'm not too terribly worried about you versus Yulia, so I can set up against you. You have incredibly high defense in shield form. It's one of the duties in the champion to get the crowd fired up. And you have incredibly high attack in your... Um, King Shield shouldn't block Stealth Rock? Yeah, okay, good. Now here's the question, what are you going to do this turn? I think Aegislash can learn Rapid Spin. I'm trying to remember, okay. Ghost Steel. Your defense is the best to deal with the ridiculous offense of an Aegislash. Aegislash. You are resistant to Rock Blast. You are weak to Heat Crash. I'm gonna try it. Okay, you decided to attack. I don't think... Okay, that's a Steel Titan. No, it's a Fighting Titan. Aiming for super effective hits is a sur surefire way to claim victory. I can take two more of those because you are now burned. I was not expecting an Oko. Super effective hit. I'd expect nothing less from your team. Even with the weakened defense of sword form, I was not expecting an Oko. Haxorus. That is pure dragon. Tippy tap. Malga could be fun. But I'm gonna I'm going to Okay, wait, wait. Haxorus is a physical attacker. 
I'm, I'm going to go with my first instinct, which is tip attack. And freeze dry. A little bit of chip damage. Oh wow, your levels are actually going up because I think um, I think it just lasts with 62. Mold Breaker is going to hit regardless of what abilities I have. You're faster. Oh my goodness, you're faster. I don't think you have much in, in the way of special defense though. Okay. Okay. I probably should have expected you to be faster, I'll be honest. Dragapult. 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 Dragon. We're going to try out the Ice Fang strategy. You know, uh, one thing I wasn't actually paying attention to is can we Dynamax? You're Ghost Dragon. Neat. We can. Okay, so let's go with Ice Fang. I am faster, probably because of the Choice Band. At the B, you survived. Okay. That was not a. It, it, that is a range move, but that was not range of. You're being. You're gonna. Yeah. I probably got a high roll there. This is. He has some good mods so far, it seems. Because Haxorus is no joke. Mr. Rhyme. Um. Actually, Lancelot would have been pretty good. Lancelot probably would have been better, let's be honest. Um. But I think with the uh, with the high attack that Bugs has, as well as the power of Pyro Ball, we should be fine. And yeah, good. Because Mr. Rhyme has much better special defense than physical defense. Inteleon. Um. Um. Tippy Taps are our best bet because Inteleon is a special attacker. And Freeze Dry is kind of designed for that. Amalg. Failing that. Um, oh, wait. Hmm. We'll find out. Because my my Inteleon has Shadow Ball, but I think that is a TR, and we, I don't know that trainers will learn TRs. Dark Poles! Just as, almost as concerning. Oh boy, okay. Um. Inteleon is very fast. You don't have a weakness. Okay, I think. I'm going to be neutral. I think I'm going to be neutral to anything Inteleon can do. Okay, I can take three or more of those. So let's uh, drill pack. I don't want to risk 
careful look. Reduces what now? Attack. And special attack. Actually, that's impressive. Okay. Trying to draw this out, which is understandable. That, this is so weird. Kind of the interesting thing is, is it looks like he's uh, Leon will take. Um, this could hurt. That was a critical! That is not good! Don't, don't get cut up on a critical hit, focus on what to do next. Unfortunately, you're faster, and... I think this is my best bet. It's probably going to use. <laughs> okay. That's four. That's a reduction of four. We're going to use Crunch. Because the idea is Amalga is probably my best bet for Charizard. Um, no, I'm not finished. I'm not finished having a champion time here, and I won't let anyone else finish it for me. You're gonna take half your health and damage. We're going to take full advantage of that by uh, Rock Fall. Okay, so we're going to Dynamax now, Leon, right? Now, I don't know that we don't have the box legendary to pull the championship match. Have not, wow, have not seen you in Dynamax form, but you look so weird. I'll show you what Charizard can really do. It's Gigantamax time. Yeah, I kind of figured. Fortunately, I have a rock move, and you've already lost out of your health. So, yeah. Like I said, Wheelio was pretty much my crux of that, and I am glad that that strategy worked, because that's ridiculous. Rock Fall. Yeah, that's about your best bet, honestly, against them all guys. Um, but he's very... I, well, I don't know what... I'll be honest, I don't know if that was a physical rock or a special rock, but, um, yeah, Amalga just said the boy Charlie guy, boy. I am actually glad that I gra did do some grinding because... That match would have demolished half my team, or more. I'll be... <laughs> that looks so weird in Sandstorm. My time as champion is over, but what a champion time it's been. Thank you for the greatest battle I've ever had. 15,000. Wow. That is a lot of Poké Dollars. Oh boy, that was <laughs> that was a match. What's with that ultra ball? Congratulations, Gabriel. You've beaten you, you beat even the unbeatable champion, making you the new champion of the region. You've become a first-rate trainer, all right. I offer you my heartfelt congratulations. 
and now you've and now you've grown so strong perhaps it's time I started looking or looking ahead myself it's time we adults started working on improving the here and now for the sake of all that's to come and you Gabriel what you ought to do now is believe in yourself and your partner Pokemon and keep on blasting ahead in order to create that bright future as uh, we all hope to see People of Galar, you have it. Here you have it, a new legend born right before your eyes. Your champion, Gabriel. Bet you can't wait to see what kind of future a kid with this kind of strength might bring about. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what he can do. So. Pokemon Sword and Shield. A lot of very interesting factors, really. Um, some of the best written characters of any Pokemon game so far. Um, weird, weird endgame with uh, Chairman Rose and the whole... He's a bad guy, but honestly, he's not. Um, the Team Yell were just hilarious. I thought they were going to be weird and I'm, I wasn't even sure about them at first but they were they were hilarious and very much worth the whole um, butt of the joke kind of thing um, and I, I think they fulfilled that role pretty well um, I loved the championship the whole idea of facing off against your rivals at the very end and then having this um, tournament to determine who goes to face off against the champion, that is so much more in line with, with what I see as, you know, the, 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 the finality of a journey uh, versus uh, of what a lot of the other games have done. Um, it is, in my opinion, the best and strongest ending to your to your um, I, I, journey to your journey of becoming a Pokemon uh, to becoming a champion to becoming a Pokemon master so far um, I, it, it, I really love that idea um, the weakest point of this game definitely was the Chairman Rose arc Strongest point of this game, hmm, it's either the characters or the league. They are both so incredibly strong. It's, I, I, I can't say anything more about it. They, 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 they're both so strong that I think they might be tied for the best elements of this game. Um... Because the characters felt so much more fleshed out, so, so much more believable than really anything that I can think of. There were some like now, don't get me wrong. Some of the some of the dark elements introduced with like Pokemon Pl Platinum were very good, um, but their implementation was not there. Whereas this game kind of rounded everything out and involved everything that was in the story into the characters in the world and that that's what I think made for great strong characters um, and like I said the league with the with the with the tournament at the end is just spectacular that is that is the that is the best ending to the the league that I've seen so far um, I would like to personally battle against the uh, gym leaders of the quote-unquote unqualified gym types um, just to have a little bit more variety. Um, it would be kind of interesting maybe for a future installment if they have the same kind of idea if they separate them into like minor leagues and major leagues and you have to fight your way through the minor leagues first and win all the win against all the gyms that you that didn't qualify for the major leagues and then once you beat them you qualify for the major leagues 
and you fight against the eight gems there because I there's 16 types so you can have eight gems in the minor leagues eight gems in the major leagues and that's that's I, I like that idea I really do and that is the end I can't say I was expecting that especially since I don't even have the box legendary yet um I don't know what to say about that that's for sure um there's probably, there has to be some way of catching the box legendary, 100%. But, oh. Well, that's ominous. But let's say hello to our champion team, Wheelia. With Heat Crash. Rock Blast, Rapid Spin, and Stealth Rock, who is naughty, caught in the Galar Mine. Bugs, who has Pyro Ball, U-Turn, Double Kick, and Double Edge, who has been our partner since the very beginning and is rash. Lancelot, with Drill Peck, Brave Bird, U-Turn, and Steel Wing, who is timid and was caught on Route 1. Tippitap, who has Psychic, Slack Off, Freeze Dry, Dazzling Gleam, and is lax and caught in the Stony Wilderness in a Raid Den. And the one and only Raid Pokemon that, we, that I caught. Amalga with Ficious Rend, Ice Fang, Rock Slide, Crunch who is adamant and, and was reanimated on Route 6. And Jar, with Octoloc, Body Slam, Drain Punch, and Brick Break, who is naive and caught on Route 9. And our surviving members, Yumi. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at them. Surviving members, Yumi with Shadow Claw, Will-O-Wisp, Hex, and Earthquake, who is rash and caught on Route 6. Hydroplane, who has Aqua Jet, Brick Break, Crunch, and Liquidation, and who is caught at the Lake of Outrage and is modest. Coil, with Bulldoze, Glare, Headbutt, and Minimize, who is brave and caught on Route 8. Glacia, with Snowpad Order and Strugglebug, careful and caught on Route 10. Bookworm with Bug Buzz, Psychic, Light Screen, and Reflect, who is relaxed and caught near the Giant's Cap. Eric the Red with Slash, Iron Head, U-Turn, Fake Out, who is timid and caught on Route 4. Shellex, who has Swallow, Stockpile, Body Slam, and Rest who is relaxed and caught at the Giant's Mirror. And Nibble with Tackle, Acid, Yawn, Confusion, who is careful and caught at Wedgehurst Station. That's all of them, them. And the ones who did not make it through our journey. We won't look over their moves because unfortunately they are dead. Alvin, who is gentle and caught on Route 2. Roshi, who is lonely and caught on Route 5. 409, who is also lonely and caught in Holbury. Lithium, who is brave and was picked up at the daycare on Route 5. Stack, who is docile and caught in the Modestoke outskirts. Sly, who is quirky and was caught in the bridge field. Umpire, who is relaxed and caught on Route 3. Loki, who is careful and caught in the Glimwood Tangle. And Lenape, who is caught, who is modest and caught in Modestoke. And I think, nope, nope, Famish. Famish, who is quirky and caught on Route 7. Pit, who is brave and caught in the Galar Mine number 2. And that is it for the ones who joined our journey, but unfortunately were unable to finish it. I do, of course, have one other box here, but um, these were uneligible for various reasons. Um, but there they are.
just so that everybody can see who, and especially Drillbur, my shiny, <laughs> random shiny that I caught. I was, oh my goodness, that is hilarious. Um, but, yeah. This is, mm, Congratulations, champion. Here, I've got a little something for you as celebration. Master Ball. Professor Magnolia, why, uh, why you didn't have, why you didn't have to come all this way? After everything Gabriel has achieved, it's really the least I could do. The wishing stars that make Dynamaxing possible are parts of Eternatus, and when Eternatus has was awakened, the Dynamax energy flooded the entire region. Because of that, Dynamax Pokemon were popping up all over, causing trouble across the across all of Galar. But Gabriel and his friends came to the came to our rescue. The Dynamax phenomena uh, has long been an important part of the Ga of Galarian culture. I hope everyone will use the power of Dynamaxing correctly in the days to come. So, young Gabriel, please do what you believe is best. Perhaps a visit to the slumbering world is in order. Poor Professor Magnolia. Seems she's quite bothered by the chairman's actions since she helped uh, carry out so much of the researching into Dynamaxing for him. Now, this is pretty much after. Yeah, you know, this is this this is post game beer pretty much. But actually, let's visit the uh, Leon and Hop's house. Yeah, this is this is post game. So anything that happens here, pretty much unimportant. Um, and not really part of the challenge. We've already seen who who won. So there's that. But I may as well. Um. You know, the last time Leon came around, he actually took his time to enjoy a meal with us. It's been ages since I've seen him like that. Maybe we should all get together for another barbecue again sometime. Even though Leon is no longer the champion, he's still a superhero to Hop. Now that both are trainers, Hop must have realized Leon is even greater than he'd imagined. I wonder if they're upstairs. Although Leon is no longer the champion, he's still very busy and hardly comes back. But I think he should do whatever he wants to do while he's young. Okay. If you're reading this, Gabriel, then I'm then I'm leaving the special Charmander to you. Let's have a real fiery battle again soon. Best of luck, Leon. Interesting. He can Gigantamax. Okay. Blaze. Eh, well, whatever. Not a great nature, but eh. Keep things organized. I already got something. Oh no. I don't know how I would count that. But let's go through here again. Oh. Come on, I thought I avoided that. Oh well. Hello, Scrobit. Can't catch anything in here because I knocked out the one eligible. Which was a Galarian Weezing. I'm still going to do the whole, at least the catching rules. Um... But I would like to show catching, um... This 
sword, no, the shield Pokemon who is Zamazetta. I think. This is where we first faced them. Trying to remember the way through here. I kind of wish you could see whether they were um, shiny or not on the field, but I guess they decided just to not do that at all. I will be saving before I face whoever it is, um, because the goal in this case is to catch them in a Pokeball that they look good in. Um, and I don't know... Oh, hello? Huh? Gabriel? What are you doing here in the woods? Nobody ever comes in here since this is the forest where Zashi and Zamazetta rested. It's the best place to do a bit of thinking since it's so quiet and all. You say you felt like something was calling you here, you here Gabriel? That's... Mate, you're pretty uncanny. That's pretty uncanny. Oh, but I hadn't had the chance to tell you. Congrats on your victory, Gabriel. Honestly, Gabriel, I never thought you'd manage to, defeat my, to beat my brother. Greatest champion Galar ever had. He was un he was undefeatable till you came around. It's actually uh, still pretty hard to believe. Really, you're amazing, Gabriel. So amazing, maybe, that I don't even realize just how amazing you really are. Gabriel, do you think... Would you be up to one more battle? <sighs> sure. Thanks, Gabriel. Then show me the strength that defeated Lee, the greatest champion we ever had. I'm ready when you are, just say the word. Oh boy, all right. Well, I don't know how this will go. Double can have fighting moves, but its attack seems to be ridiculously low. So I'm not terribly worried about that. So Stealth Rock. Cotton Guard to increase your defense. Good move. Because I think drastically is three stages, which means that you have a 150% increase. Double Edge is going to do next to nothing. Rock Blast is doing next to nothing. Jar has very good uh, physical defense, so... We'll... Wow, that's actually impressive. Get some of that back with, um... You're faster than Jar. We can take one more double edge. And you right, you would probably you would probably pass out from the recoil. But usually the usually the AI doesn't worry about that. That's weird. Corviknights. Vicious Ren would actually probably do the most damage, despite the fact that it's weak to rock type moves. Let's see, Vicious Ren is 90... yeah. 90, 190. Wait, am I doing those, that calculation right? It's, no, it's 170. Stab would bring it above 190, that's for sure. Snorlax, no. 
That also be a good opportunity for Jar to um, get more HP back. But Vicious Friend is just stupid powerful. And hey, this is how we started this game. And I'm pretty sure we can't Dynamax, so... Wow, you did not eat... Why did they close up on Hop there if he wasn't going to say anything? Whatever. L uh, Leon was actually higher level. Cramorant. Cramorant. Um... That's the flying water type, if I remember correctly. That, um, swallows fish when it's... Yep, okay. Whenever you can, use 4x damage. Whenever you can. You're pure electric. As long as I don't touch you, I should be fine. Um... 70, 90, let's go Psychic. I've been using Freeze Dry more than Psychic, and it's... What? And they're both stab moves. I am surprised that you survived with one HP. Maybe, maybe two or three, but... That's just... I didn't expect there to be much such a gap between you and me, mate. I really kind of wish I knew what the IVs on my mons were, but so there really is no way I could ever beat you. I mean you're even you even beat my unbeatable brother. And if it isn't the two of you again, I was wondering what all that noise was about. And if it's and if it isn't Sonia. Gabriel, congratulations on beating Leon. Taking it all in stride like, uh, like it's your due, eh? You <laughs> what? Okay. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be off assisting the professor? Pop, I'm actually not working as my grand's assistant any longer. In fact, I'm the professor now. Y you are? And really, I've got the two of you to thank for that. I was just along for the ride on your adventure, but I ended up taking a real interest in the history of the Gala region. And I came to uh, and I came to care for Pokemon even more than I ever had before. And here, it's a book I wrote. I even signed it. That makes it a collector's item. I've really I've I've already got a, my own copy lined up uh, lined up to buy it the day it came out. Oh, thanks, Hop. That's so sweet. I'll sign your the your copy for you later. Anyway, I've got my grand's blessing and put out my first book under my own name. I think you can expect great things of the lovely Professor Sonia in the future, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I expect so. Sonia and Gabriel, you both amaze me. I've got to live up. Uh, I, I've got a lot to live up to here. So, what are you going? To, what are you youngins doing here? Oh, oh right. Oh. That's it, isn't it? You're putting the rusted sword and the rusted shield back in their place? I can't just keep holding on to them forever, right? We were. Yeah, that's what we were doing. We were just about to do that. You forgot entirely, didn't you? What, do you think the two of you are, uh, are besties now with Zacian and Zamazeta or something? 
That must be it, Gabriel. Why you felt like you were called here. Let's put the sword and shield back to say a proper thanks for all the help. Maybe if we do, we'll get to see Zashian and Zamazeta again someday. Like I said, <laughs> when I first got here... Okay, we need to do some healing, because I have a feeling... I could be wrong, but I have a feeling... What does that actually do? Saving again. Because this is pretty much the finale. I'm not going to do another episode after this. Zashian, Zamazetta, thanks load for helping us out. Took us a, while, a little while, but we've brought back your precious relics and all. Alright, that about settles that. Gabriel, why don't you and I head back? What are you going to, what are you going to do, Sonia? I think I'll stay here a bit longer. I want to do a little more research here in the forest. Hmm, my power spot detector is going off. Oh, well, well. I thought I heard something, someone, someone making some noise over this way. Wow, really? Well, 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 you wouldn't be the Professor Sonia who wrote the book Galar, A History. Uh, uh, hello? You bought my book? Why, yes, of course. Read it from cover to cover. Why, yes, of course. I even wrote an, uh, an internet review for it. That awful book was filled with lies, so we gave it one star. <laughs> but there are no lies printed in that book. That, that's just plain rude. I am so... so, so I'm... Wow. I am Shieldbert. Your name's a lot easier to say. We are the new kings of Galar. We're descendants of the first kings. More than that, we're celebrities. New kings, descendants, seriously, what are you on about? What exactly are you two supposed to be? Well, well, well. Could these things here be the fabled sword and shield? Well, well, well. They certainly... They are... They're certain... They certainly are dirty. They must be fake. I, I fear to touch them with my bare hands. Hey, don't go nicking those. We just returned them. Oh, do shut up. We only we only happened to pick up some things that we that were dropped on the ground. If you've got a problem with it, how about you prove to whom they belong? Hmm? But there's no way anyone can prove who who those ancient things belong to. Even if we can't prove it, they're really important to Zashian and Zamazeta. Oh goodness, such a plebeian and yet so pushy. If it's uh, really so important to you, perhaps we should settle this with a battle. Oh boy. We're celebrities who buy battles for twice that, that they're worth. What? what does that even mean? I, the Magnificent Shieldbert, am your opponent. I was not expecting another battle, but okay. Sure, we'll go with this. Surfetch. Your fighting type. I do not want to be up here against a fighting type. Um, I am hearing... I'm hoping it's only temporary. But I am hearing... Audio cues that there's frame drops going on. Excuse me? Um... I'm worried to use Brave Bird because if that does critical, that's guaranteed KO. And of course, what do you use? You will use Iron Defense, which means that I was pointlessly worried. I'm glad I got Wheelie out of there, because that was a KO. Guaranteed. Huh? 
I don't think you can use anything that Wheelie is really worried about, so I can go ahead and use... Actually, no, you can... Wow, I actually almost said I was worried about Flamethrower. Protect is not going to protect against Stealth Rock, if I remember correctly. Right, okay, good. Wild Charge is electric. Because of course you do. Because of course. That would require, like, four criticals to take me out. Okay. Cannot say I was expecting a battle here, but whatever. Wheelia has a lot of HP. We are getting you out of there. I'm using one of these in sword, so I actually do know what they are. So this should work pretty well. Yeah, okay. This this battle is so weird. Literally just It's kind of like the battle against red and uh, red or blue in um, Sun and Moon, Bronzong. Bronzong only has two weaknesses, one of which is nullified by its ability. Shh, no more warm-ups, it's time to beat you hollow. And the thing is, even, even with heat proof, it still gives the super effective noise um, to fire. So you really have to try to guess based on how much damage it takes. I'm pretty sure you had levitate. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that, that means that it had levitate. Oh, how can this be? My my Pokemon. Wow, you gave less money than Champion Leon. To someone to someone have defeated the adorable Pokemon I go strolling with, you're entire you're certainly strong. However, it appears that my older brother was victorious. Sorry, Gabriel, I lost him. <laughs> Something on your mind, boy? You, were con you weren't concentrating at all during our battle. Younger brother, isn't that the one who stopped Eternatus? Oh, now that I look closely, I believe it is. What a rude child, snatching up our chance at glory like that. According to our sources, I believe he uh, was also present during the destruction of the magnific magnificent mural our ancestors so artfully created many years ago. What a garish brute, destroying the mural our family has held in such high esteem for so long. Mural? You mean the one that hid the historic ruins of Zamazetta and the others? And hold on a moment, Gabriel wasn't the one who destroyed it. Let us withdraw for now. Next time we shall bring Pokemon that will utterly defeat you. Yes, let's do that. And with that, farewell! Wait, wait stop! Give back the rusted sword! Hold on, Hop. Ah, that kid, he's gone and recklessly run off. At least you're calm, Gabriel, as I expected as much. I'm surprised that Hop lost to someone like that. He looked upset about something during during the battle, and maybe that had something to do with it. His own rival became the new champion, and his goal vanished right before his eyes. I, there was no word right in there. You can't help but wonder how he feels about it all. Anyway, sword... 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 Those guys, was it? I think I might know something about where those two weirdos went. Shall we go over to to it in the lab of Wedge in Wedgehurst? Okay, we'll meet up la later. I'll head back to the lab. I was expecting to end this episode.
like, you know, last battle against, um, le the box legendary and then, you know, call it a day. But, um, we're continuing because I already said that this is the finale, so I'm keeping my word there. Um, wait, the lab, right? No, go here. Where am I supposed to go? Where's the lab? I don't remember. It's here, right? Hello, you're new. I think. Professor Sonia, you have a visitor. Hey Gabriel, glad you're here. Spot on, I've been busy with my research, so I decided to bring on some help. Some extra help. I've been keeping all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose have been gathering here in the lab. Things have been a little hectic around here, but my assistant has been handling things in a proper fashion. She's really been helping me keep things afloat. I really haven't been doing all that much. You're Gabriel, the champion, right? I'm really glad I, uh, I get to meet you. It's an, an, uh, it's an honor, truly. Come here for a moment, would you? There's something I want you to have a look at. Remember my power spot detector, right? It detects places where Dynamaxing is possible. Basically, when there's high concentration of Galar particles, the readings spike. And that's how I figured it out. The power spot detector reacted when those two got close. Exactly. Follow the readings from the power spot detector and you might be able to find those sword and shield weirdos. Those guys might claim to be royalty with their weird fancy names, but it's easier to just call them weirdos, don't you think? Let's get back on topic, though. I placed, the power, I placed power spot detectors all around Galar, and now it's their time to shine. This is not going to be my final episode, is it? Wait, what? What? Am I looking for something? Whoa, whoa, that's a bigger reaction than I would have thought. It looks like they're coming from Turfield Stadium. You could always Dynamax Pokemon at the stadium, so that's not exactly unusual. But these readings are way higher than normal. It can't be Etern Eternatus. You've already caught it. Maybe it's something related to those Sword and Shield weirdos. You should go check it out, Gabriel, since you're our snazzy new champion and all. I've set up your town map to show where these strong, uh, strong particle reactions are coming from, so have a look at it. It's just going to say, yeah. I'm going to try to see what is there. Um, this episode is getting long. She did say Turffield Stadium, right? Hmm? You're... Hello there, champion. So you came. Ha. Huh. How carefree can you be? You're the new champion. You're bigger than a Dynamax Pokemon right now. I was actually in the middle of an exhibition match with Piers. Then this Dynamax Pokemon came charging in. The audience and staff already took shelter. Ooh. I got everyone who was seated on the north side of the stadium evacuated. You must have heard, right? More Dynamax Pokemon are running amok. Much obliged, Top. 
but I'd expect nothing less from, the, from a gym challenger. I knew we could count on you. I lost in the semifinals, though. Ah, Gabriel. I chased those red and blue guys and saw them head to, into Turf Field Stadium. Then I heard that uproar, and there was no way I could ha leave it alone. I had to help out. So, uh, sorry, I actually lost sight of them in all the rush. Hmm, those suspicious characters you saw are concerning. But for now, I think we should get this Dynamax Pokemon to sell down first. I'd be glad for your help against such a tough-looking opponent, Champion Gabriel. Hold on a sec. Okay. Unfortunately, this looks like it's going to be a thing. So I am going to leave the post-game for next time. And despite the fact that I said that this was the finale, it's not. Okay. So anyway, for the time being, this will be Draco Breach reporting out. God bless and safe travels.